Hello world and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. It is currently Thursday afternoon and we are kicking off my reading vlog for the 48 hour Juneteenth Blackathon. I have attempted to film reading vlogs before but they have never been successful. I am hopeful that this weekend will change that. Cross your fingers. Um, yeah, I figured I would incorporate this into the experience because I am hoping that this will help me, this will give me a place to like talk about some of my thoughts that I'm having as I am reading the books that I plan to read for this weekend. Um, and I'm getting it started a little bit early for two reasons. One, so that I have a chance to get started early. <laughs> And two, because um, like in my own mind, I am kicking this off a little bit early because I am participating in, or I am attending a panel discussion by Ibram Kendi about his new book, Anti-Racist Babies, which was recommended um, actually in the, the organization that I work with as a contractor um, started a parents group where we've been sharing a lot of resources for raising our children anti-racist and this is one of the things that was recommended and I signed up immediately so I'm going to be doing that this evening to like get myself in the mindset for a intensive weekend shall we say <laughs> and why not go ahead and get started it's uh, about it's gonna start in like about 40 minutes so I am taking a break from my work before I do like the last couple of tasks that I have. I just had some lunch. I was listening to the audiobook of, oh, what is it called? In Another Timeline, I think. Um, which <laughs> we'll be talking about that book. I'm like almost halfway through and it is a ride. Um, but I'm gonna pause all of the readings so that I can shift gears into the books for this weekend after tonight. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of bullet journaling and watch a little bit of Queer Eye and hope that my kid stays asleep. I don't know, they're, they're having a nap right now and I don't know when they're gonna wake up. They, they usually wake up around this time. So I don't know how much of a break I'll actually get. That's fine. And then um, my spouse will take over uh, so that I can focus more on the panel discussion, which I also don't know how long that's going to be. Probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, that's it. Welcome to my first reading vlog, question mark, hopefully. Cross your fingers. And yeah. I have such queer eye feelings. I, I, every episode I cry. Like, I, I am an ice cold, ice hearted human, and I. Like, there are issues, and like, I want to recognize that, but I'm having some feelings. <laughs> Good morning world and welcome back. I'm really hoping that you can't hear the television too much in the background because that's going to make this clip unusable. My kid is watching TV. Um, quarantine life. It's actually pretty late in the morning. It's almost 11. Um, I slept in a tiny bit because my beloved offspring woke up at 3.30 in the morning and then wouldn't go back to sleep. Hello.
Hello, welcome back. It is, oh, what time is it? It's like almost 12.30. I've been working for a little while. Um, I did have to cut out real quick and just dive into what I was doing because that's how life is sometimes. Um, I'm making good progress on All Boys Aren't Blue. I'm enjoying it immensely. I'm very pleased with my decision to like do this intensive reading thing. Um, <laughs> it's going really well, but I wanted to take a pause. I am in chapter five right now where Johnson is talking about learning about racism and black history in school and his experiences with that. <laughs> and I needed to pause because I know a lot of people are reading this book, have read this book, are talking about it on booktube. And there was a, a word that flagged for me. <laughs> which is whenever you start talking about um, American history of racism and slavery, at some point, someone's going to bring up Quakers and the Quaker involvement in abolition and the Underground Railroad. As it happens, I was actually raised Quaker, and I, as an adult, consider myself to be Quaker because my beliefs align to Quaker beliefs, but I am not practicing. I don't participate in um, a Quaker meeting or uh, a Quaker community uh, on a regular basis. I just maintain those beliefs that I was sort of raised in. And I wanted to, to call this out because having been entrenched in Quaker environments and cultures for the vast majority of my life, I can actually speak to this. Yes, Quakers were heavily involved in abolition and the Underground Railroad. But please don't hold us up to this like standard of, look, these are good white people because we've got a lot of problems with racism right now. Uh, we've been, and I say this as someone who has not been active in the Quaker community in a few years, but like, just on the on the tertiary of it um and even when i was like in high school and early university we struggled to discuss racism we are overwhelmingly grotesquely white in this country um globally racism is not overwhelmingly white but hey yeah yeah is that good apple is that good Okay, I'm gonna keep talking about, about Quakerism, okay? Okay. Racism is something that we struggle with recognizing in ourselves. Whenever the topic of racism comes up, Quakers are very quick and very eager to bring up our involvement in abolition and the Underground Railroad. Somehow we don't have anything more recent to cite as how we're being anti-racist. You know, just to rather explicitly call out the religion that I was raised in and that I consider myself a part of. Like, we got problems, okay? And for anyone who has read this book or is reading this book or plans to read this book in the future, if you happen to see this video, please know that, yes, Quakers are cited here and Quakers were heavily involved at that time and had at that time very progressive views on race. Uh, but we got a lot of work to do and we haven't made a whole lot of progress, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's really all there is. I just wanted to update and, and say that piece. I'm going to get back to work and continue listening to this book. I am, at this time, knock on wood, hopeful that I can finish it today because it is pretty short. Um, that said, I, I am listening it at, listening to it at 100% speed. I, I couldn't listen to it faster it felt wrong which is fine uh it's still pretty short and it's it's real good it's real good this is definitely a book i'm gonna need to own a copy of talking away i don't know what I'm to say i'll say it anyway and it's another day to find you trying I'll be coming for you anyway. Take 
Hello, welcome back. Um, it's, I should really learn to check the time before I start recording, but it's a little bit after two at this point. I just put the kid down for their nap. Figured it was a good time to check in. I made a little bit more progress in All Boys Aren't Blue. I've got so much work, work that I have to do. On the one hand, like I'm inclined to say, I don't know how this happens. I always have so much work on Fridays. I know exactly how this happens. I was procrastinating doing my big project this week and I'm doing it all now, which is not the worst thing in the world because it means that I have less opportunity to stray away from doing things that let me concentrate on my audiobook. Um, what I'm doing, I'm like going through and pulling together analytics about blog posts. Um, which is fine, but I can't like split my attention to a YouTube video or something or like take constant breaks because I need to get this done today. Um, which is good because I can just listen to my audiobook while I do this. I can just listen to the book and not be distracted with like YouTube or Netflix or something else. So it worked out pretty well. I'm just like, I'm feeling, I need to get this done. Ugh. It's fine. I'm gonna go back to it. I need to get myself some lunch probably at some point, but I'll worry about that later. Well, hello there and welcome back. It is 3.30. I just updated my, um, progress on All Boys Aren't Blue. I am about 63% of the way through. Doing pretty good. Um, it's still early in the day and I've still got a lot of work to do, so plenty of time to listen to my audiobook. I am taking a break from the audiobook right now because I'm getting into the portion of my current project where I have to do math. <sighs> God, I have so much work to do because then I still have to go through and write social posts for the weekend, in case anyone missed it or like I failed to say it, which is entirely possible. I'm a communications specialist. Um, I am, I'm not a freelancer, I'm a, I'm a contract worker um, working with this nonprofit and I do stuff like what I'm doing right now, um, analytics, data analysis, uh, and I also do social media content. So I create all of the content for the social media accounts for this nonprofit, um, which is great work. I enjoy doing it and I'm good at it, but it takes time and I'm tired. <sighs> I have my green tea here. A little bit of a boost. Um, that's just where I'm at. I just need to take a break from paying attention to my audiobook because now I have to pay attention to what I'm actually doing. Thank you. 
Hello and welcome back. It is Saturday afternoon. It's I think like 3.30 or 4 o'clock. Kid just woke up from their nap. I have not gotten a huge amount of reading done today, which is not terribly surprising. Um, the last couple of weeks we have had um, the over to hang out, actually. Um, so they are here now. Um, I am a little over 20% uh, of the way into Stars in the Blackness between them. I think maybe 25% um, of the way through it. It's beautiful. I, it's definitely not going to be a favorite, I think, simply because romances are not my thing and it's very much about the relationship, but the writing is absolutely beautiful and the audiobook is A+. Plus. Love it. So, definitely a good experience. And is there anything else that I need to update? I don't think so. I doubt that I'm going to be able to finish it. I will listen as much as I am able to, but I doubt that I'm going to be able to finish it, which is fine. And I, I figured that that would be the case. And I don't know if I will have cause to update again today or try and do any close up tomorrow. So, yeah, we will, we will see what it is. And I'm going to go back to listening to my book for the moment. Oh, hello. Welcome back. It is Sunday afternoon. I am here to close out this vlog, maybe? Hopefully? That's my intention. We'll see if that is actually what I do. I haven't finished uh, The Stars and the Blackness between them, unsurprisingly, but I did get a decent chunk of the way through. I'm almost halfway through. I think I'm 45% the way through. It's... I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish reading it um, at some point in June I figure I'll just continue listening to it this week um what did I want to say uh, I have some thoughts and I would like to include them in this video but I don't know if I'll be able to get my my life together to do that so we shall see the book is beautiful Book is absolutely beautiful it deserves every word of praise it has received it is not gonna be a five star for me because of some very personal and very subjective reasoning and while my feeling is that any rating or opinion is subjective there's degrees of subjectivity I think at least that's that's how I think of it and this is not about the writing or the characters or the storyline or anything. I think those are all exceptional. I got to a point in this story, if you've read it, I got to 45% of the way, you can probably guess what that was. Um, and I'd like to dig into my feelings a little bit, but I don't have time to do that in this specific moment because this is my, my one chance to have food uninterrupted by child who is napping right now. I'm gonna go ahead and have my food and relax for like five seconds before I have to go back to do other things. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and in the event that this does end up being the very last clip in this video, thank you very much for watching. If you have joined me, let me down in the comments what you ended up reading for the uh, 48 hour readathon. It was, it was nice. I enjoyed the act of being intentional in like, I'm going to read this type of content. I'm gonna like power through this type of content. And um, obviously with the intention being like absorbing it rather than just like reading as much as possible. Um, but I enjoyed that intentionality. I think that's something that I should try again in the future. Uh, okay, I'm just babbling at this point so I'm gonna eat my food and take something for my head because my mm, it's not a good scene up in here all right